Hello everyone and welcome back to our video class here at CSEC Math Tutor. Today we are looking at two important concepts to do with vectors. That is, we are going to be calculating the magnitude of a vector and we're also going to be looking at the direction of a vector. Both are very important concepts for us to learn and so we are going to get into it by first looking at the magnitude of a vector. The magnitude of a vector, very importantly, is the same thing as the length of the, of the vector or the length of the line segment that forms the vector. So if you're familiar with coordinate geometry and how to find the length of a line segment, it's the same concept here. So looking at this vector AB, we could, could also write it as OB given that it starts at the origin here, starts at, at, at the origin, so we could also call it OB, but this one is named AB. And so we can write down first the component form of AB, and we simply go to the end point. The end point here is, let's write it down, it's 7 on the x and 6 on the y, so B, 7 on the x and 6 on the y. So we could write this um, the component form of AB here as, remember I have to put the arrow, as 7, 6. We call that the component form of the vector. Um, if you look at this um, line here, you notice that if you should drop a line here down to our x-axis, then um, with the y-axis with the, with the here, it forms a right-angle triangle. And with the right-angle triangle, it tells us that if we want to find the length of this line, um, we can simply apply Pythagoras' theorem. So um, Pythagoras' theorem could easily give us this, and that is what we use to find the length of the line and the length of the vector. So the length of this side here, starting here, we notice that this is seven units, and starting here at zero going up, this is six units, which also correspond to the endpoint there. And we know that Pythagoras' theorem says something like the, the length of the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And if we should find a square root, find A, then A is equal to the square root of B square plus C square. And that gives us the idea that we need to calculate the magnitude of the vector AB. So to find the magnitude, what we do is that we um, substitute these letters for X and Y, since this is the X direction. And this is the y direction or the, the y numbers that we're going to be using. So the magnitude of AB is given as the square root of x square plus y square. And now that we have this, we simply plug these numbers in and we find our magnitude. So our, the magnitude of AB here simply is the square root of 7 square plus 6 square, which gives us the square root of uh, 49 plus 36, and that is the root of 85. Now we put units there, because whenever you're measuring the length of something, you need a unit. This question did not specify a unit, so it's, all, it's, it's important to just write units at the end, whatever that unit might be. Um, you may choose to punch this number into your calculator and get your answer, that is to find um, what the actual square root is. You don't need to. Um, if you want to, you can. If the question asks you to do it, then you can. But you can always leave your answer in with the square root. We call that a third. Um, when you leave your answer in square root form, thirds come up later on in mathematics at AdMaths and Cape. So we don't need to deal with that here, just to mention that, it, that it's useful because when you leave it like that, this is the exact answer and no rounding off to, to bring any errors into our answer. So this is how we find the magnitude of a vector. We're going to work out another question like it in a bit to give you a little bit little more practice with it. But first, we're going to go to the direction of a vector. And the direction of a vector is the angle, the angle that that ve vector makes with the positive side of the x-axis. So this is our vector. And we already discussed that um, AB that the component form of AB is um, 7 in the x direction and 6 in the y direction. So 
how do we deal with the idea of the angle now? The angle is the size of this, the, the direction of, of the vector rather, is the angle between the, the vector and the positive x-axis. So this is a positive x-axis. And this is the an angle that is formed between the vector and the positive x-axis. So let's call that theta for now. And what we notice then, since we have a right angle triangle, is that if we want to find the size of that angle, we can use trigonometric ratios to work it out. So this side again being six, being seven units rather, and this side being six units, we notice that we have the opposite side and we have the adjacent side and the opposite and adjacent uh, work together to give us the tangent ratio. So we can say the tangent of the angle theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And putting this in our context, this here is the x direction and or the x unit, and this here is the y, the y unit. So we can say that the tangent of the angle here is equal to the y over the x and to find our angle we use the inverse ratio so the angle itself would be equal to the tan inverse of y over x and so to, this is this is what we use to find the angle the direction of a vector and we can simply just take our numbers now and punch them in so tan inverse of y over x or opposite over adjacent gives us the tan inverse of um, 6 over 7 and you can punch that into your calculator remember that your calculator needs to be in in degree mode so the once you punch this in your calculator it should give you approximately 40 Point six degrees and that would be the direction of the vector so the direction of the vector is the angle that it makes with the positive x-axis and pretty much what we use is the tangent ratio to work out the angle in especially when they're like this in this form in this quadrant all right so this is how we do it now let's look at one last practice question to tie this up so here we have that a b is negative three four and OA is 2, 5. And we want to find the magnitude of AB. And we also want to find the direction of OA. So the magnitude of AB, writing it like this, is equal to, since we have the component form already, negative 3 square plus 4 square. And that gives us the square root of. 9 plus 16. Of course, 9 plus 16 gives us 25. And the square root of 25 in this case, because we're dealing with a length, we have it to be 5 units. So this is how we find the length of the vector, the magnitude of the vector. And now we want to find the, the angle, that is the direction of OA. And to find the direction of OA, we say that OA, the direction, is equal to the tan inverse of the y value over the x value. And so we have here, in this case, the, the, the tan inverse of the y value, that's 5 over 2. And once you punch that into your calculator, you should get um, something around. Let me let me just punch it in very quickly. The tan inverse of five over two, which is sixty-eight point two degrees. Remember to put your calculator in degree mode again when you're working out um, these kind of angles. So this is how we find the magnitude of a vector, and this is how we find the direction of a vector. Thank you for watching and continue working hard.